hello guys and welcome back to Akipori channel. Are you tired of the chaos in your warehouses with inventory spread across multiple locations and non-clear visibility? In this video, we unveil the ultimate solution for inventory managers and operations directors to regain control and streamline their operations. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to create a warehouse in Akimatica ERP system and specify warehouse specific prices and other settings for stock items. In the next part, we will process single stop transfers with multiple locations. After that, we will process two stop inventory transfers between different warehouses. Let's get started. So, we are moving to the part of managing warehouses, and here is the story. The boat that the Sweet Life Fruits and Jams company is going to open a new retail shop in Miami, Florida with a small warehouse in it for keeping fruits and jams. The warehouse will contain one location where all items will be stored. Organizationally, the shop will be part of the Sweet Life head office branch. This store will specialize in purchasing, storing and selling exotic fruits such as dragon fruits and guavas from Mexico. To track item costs uh, in the new warehouse, you will create a separate inventory account. To prepare the system for the processing of documents for the new retail shop, you will create a new warehouse, specify warehouse specific settings for the needed stock items, and specify other warehouse related settings to support the changes in the company's operations. And in this video, we will do the following together. So, prepare the system for the creation of warehouses, create warehouses, specify warehouse specific settings for stock items and prices, and use a warehouse as a source of retail account for posting classes. And here is the first part that we're going to do. Uh, we will go to enable disable features. Let's find multiple warehouses in the inventory and order management section. You should click modify. Uh, you should choose checkbox for multiple warehouses. I have already done it. So and after that, you should click enable. So when your organization has multiple buildings, storage rooms uh, or other facilities for storing inventory items, you can create multiple warehouses in Acumatica ERP to process and track inventory appropriately for each warehouse. And with this feature, multiple warehouses, right, uh, enabled, uh, you can create any number of warehouses, even virtual ones. So, and let's continue. We should go to chart of accounts form and we should create the inventory account that you will use for the new warehouse so you should click and row specify account 13200 account class warehouse type asset active should be selected in the description inventory asset or glory retail warehouse control account module you should specify in allow manual entry should be cleared post option summary Cash account should be cleared. So, and uh, secured should be cleared as well. On the foreign toolbar, we should click save. The next step is creating a warehouse. Let's go to warehouses form. Click new record. Specify the following details. The warehouse ID box. Let's type boring retail range head office active checkbox is selected and in the description let's type retail warehousing written great on location staff location table click add role 
add interlocation ID, let's type main description location and location in that for retail warehouse. So let's keep default values in all other columns and save. So here is an error, but please don't mind. We will come back to jail accounts right after. And in the receiving location box, let's choose the main create. Let's come to jail accounts tab. So let's choose override inventory account checkbox. Inventory account. We should choose the one that we have created. 13,200. Create for sales account. We should choose 40,000 sales revenue. Cox expense account should be this one, 50,000 Cox inventory. Standard cost variance account. We should specify this one, 52,100. Standard cost revaluation, 52,000. And 110 standard cost relation account. Yeah, that's right. So PO accrual account should be this one. Credit sum and 100. Purchase price variance account 52,300. Landed cost variance account 52,400. That's correct. So seems like we're done here. And on the address tab, we should specify the following details. So account name, suite by, head office, head office, and Wholesale center. Good. City. Let's specify the city. Should be Miami. Country. US United States of America. And state. Florida. Yep. That's correct. And on the foreign toolbar. Let's say the details. The third step is changing the posting class settings. So to track items in the Flurry Retail Warehouse, you have created a separate inventory account and specified it in the warehouse settings. Gus Foods will be sold from the wholesale, retail and Flurry Retail Warehouses. You need to track costs of fruit items specifically for each warehouse. For fruit items, the FDI posting class is used. For this posting class, you will specify that the system must use an inventory account from warehouse settings in the transactions with fruit items. To change the settings of the FDI posting class, we will do the following. So we're going on posting classes. Posting classes correct and we should open FTI posting class food items here it is so in use inventory acryl account from a box on general tab we should select warehouse and on the form toolbar click save Warehouse, yep, specify and save. The first step is specifying item warehouse settings. Because Jordan fruit and guava items purchased in the Floritail warehouse will have Mexico as a country of origin, and these items will be typically purchased, stored, and sold from the Flori retail warehouse. You need to specify the item settings specific to the new warehouse. 
The system will use warehouse-specific settings with a higher priority than general settings specified for the uh, items when you process documents with the items. So, to specify the settings of the dragon fruit and guava stock items, in the new warehouse uh, you should do the following. So, uh, let's go on stock items. Okay. And you should open stock item that has dragon uh, in the inventory ID. So that's why we may use a selector, right? Selector field. So dragon fruit, here it is. Okay. And you should specify the settings for dragon fruit in the Florium retail warehouse as follows. Okay, on the table toolbar of the Warehouses tab, uh, you should click Add Warehouse Detail. So we have Item Warehouse Details form opened, uh, and you should select in the Warehouse box or Retail Warehouse that we have created with you. And also notice that Inventory Account is specified, right? It's 14,200. That's correct. And a uh, country of origin, you should specify Mexico. That's great, and save it. Okay, the next, uh, let's go to stock items form again with the dragon fruit stock item selected let's go to warehouses tab one more time and now we see that for a uh, retail warehouse um showed showed up here right so and um uh we should do the next um, in the default column, we need to choose this checkbox. That's why um, it will be the main warehouse that we're going to uh, specify. And after that, you should save the changes. Okay, so let's do the same for Guavas. Okay. Let's specify in the inventory ID box Guavas. Or also you may choose selector. Find your item here. Guavas is the same. But it's the same. <clears throat> so um we should do the same. So let's go to warehouses, tape, tab. And you should uh, click Add Warehouse Detail button. So, the same right item Warehouse Details is opened. In the Warehouse, you should choose Flory Retail. Oh, sorry. Not the one I wanted to choose. And Country of Origin, you should specify Mexico as well. Alright, and save it. Okay, let's go to stock items one more time. This form is opened. So, and we need to open Guava's item right now. Using selector as well. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's go to warehouses tab. Yep, and as you see, Flory Retail Warehouse appeared here. And we need to choose this warehouse as the main. So, in the default column, you should um, use this checkbox and save. And the last step that we're going to do is processing a purchase in the new warehouse. 
So, to make sure that the amounts of the dragon fruit and guavas inventory items are posted to the correct inventory account for the floor retail warehouse, um, we will create and process a purchase order, a purchase receipt containing one of the items. So, let's practice and do the following. Uh, on the company and branch selection menu, uh, we should be sure that Mm, Sweet Life Head Office and Wholesale Center uh, is chosen, right? So that's correct. And after that, we should go to Purchase Orders. Let's do this. Okay. So, and we need to create a new order. Let's click the button. So, in the vendor box of the summary area, you should select Glory Fruit. You may use Selector or you may type the name. The result will be the same. So, Glory Fruit is chosen for our vendor. In the description box, uh, we should type uh, Purchase of to many parts, bold dragon, dragon fruit. Okay, that's correct. Then next part uh, on the details tab, you should click add row. So we should be sure that um, in the branch column head office is chosen yeah it is specified in the inventory id uh, we should select dragon food okay some details also appeared because they're connected and uh in order quantity column we should type 20. <clears throat> okay on the Warn toolbar, we should click the button Remove Hold and the system automatically saves the purchase order. So, then next we should create and process a purchase receipt for the order we have just created as follows. And while we are still viewing the purchase order, on the Form toolbar, we may click Enter Pure Receipt. And Purchase Receipts Okay, and the purchase receipts form opens with the relevant details copied from the purchase order. Okay, that's correct. Uh, we see that the purchase receipt has uh, the balance status and it can be released. So, in the only one line that we see, uh, you need to make sure that the location column right here main is specified and on the form toolbar we should click release so it's still executing let's wait a little bit okay the operation has completed perfect so on the other tab Okay, yeah, uh, we should click inventory reference number. Let's do this. And the system opens the receipts form, as you see, uh, with the inventory receipt that has been created or the purchase receipt. Okay, and on the financial tab right here of this form, let's click the link with the batch number and the system opens the journal transaction form. So just a sec. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so as we see here in the table, uh, the system has uh, the system has debited the 
B account. Yeah, this one, 13,200. Yeah, we see the system is debited. That's correct. Uh, and this means that the system has used an inventory account specified in the Borium retail warehouse settings. So guys, we finished the first part, uh, the first video that um, we have practiced with you. And we're going to move on um, to practice with a single transfer uh, warehouses. As you can see, setting up a warehouse and configuring the warehouse related settings for stock items and posting classes is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few minutes. In the next video, we will cover warehouse locations and single step transfers. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest content. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.